Hey, budget babes, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. You are chilling with me, Kiana Janae, here on The Money Plan, where we talk all things money. So let's jump right into this video. Um, I am going to stuff my wallet. I do not have anything to take out of it, but some change, which I'll do off camera. I'm gonna stuff short-term in self-care. Let's go ahead and get jumping right into this video. So we have 100, 200, 20, 40, 40, 60, 80, 300, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 400, 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So $439 is what we will be stuffing today. We are going to start off with my wallet. Um... My best friend, aka my sister, my sister, aka my best friend. I use the words interchangeably because blood couldn't make us no thicker. She bought me a new wallet, so I will be um setting up my new wallet on camera in my next video. But for today, honey, we are going to go ahead and use the same one. Y'all, she hates this guest <laughs> wallet, but we're using it today. So for grocery, we are gonna do 150. Oops. Y'all, the last two weeks, I went over in grocery. I went over in grocery $40 one week, and I went over in gro grocery $27 the week before that. So your girl's goal this week is to stay on budget with grocery. Household is getting $25. Dining out is getting $45. miscellaneous is known as gas y'all i know it say miscellaneous but that's gas um i already put 45 in the tank so we are only going to put 20 and then for spending i'm also going to do 20. that is it that is all for my wallet let's jump on over to this short-term binder so we are going to start with the kids allowance so my oldest son he is getting 30 Nazir is getting 30. Makai, baby boy, got his first report card and he got all A's and one B. I pay my kids money for A's in their core classes, but they cannot have a C on their report card or they do not get any money at all. The only exception is if they have really been trying really, really hard and they have just been struggling in a class, I may give them some grace. But um, I know somebody's going to say it in the comments, why do you pay your kids for grades and they should make good grades regardless. I have not always done this. This and my kids have always made good grades because they know number one in this household we don't do that we won't do nothing less than a b over here but we strive for a's okay but um it's a great incentive for them it's only done once a quarter and i think it's a good way for them to make some extra money so i do it um i am going to give baby boy 40 dollars because he earned 30 dollars for his grades and 10 dollars for allowance so he is getting 40 I'm going to need to break that down and give him some change, though, because we are going to be stuffing his binder. Um, my daughter, Zamaria, who I used to not give anything, y'all. You know what? Let me break this down now and give him a 10 and two fives. Because she is getting 30. That's what I agree. Why is going in there? Like, there we go. She is getting $30. Since her summer job is over, baby girl is back to getting money from me. Um, $30 is what they get every... I typically get them $40 every two weeks, but um, today I'm giving them $30 and I will give them another $10 next week. But this is just for them to have pocket money if they go out with their friends on the weekend, if they want to go to a football game or, you know, something that has to do with school. Um, they need a few dollars in their pockets. If they choose to spend all their money on food, then they just short for two weeks because I buy enough groceries for them to take lunch with them to school. So they don't really need to eat out at all. And I already budget for us to eat out as a family once a week. Anything over top of that, they have to use their own money for. Um, we are going to jump over to beauty. 
Beauty is getting $65 because my daughter Z is getting a lock maintenance treatment. So she gets a wash, retwist, and she's getting a style. So it's $60 plus a little bit of a tip. So I'm going to put $65 in beauty. And that takes care of short term. Finally, something for me. How much I got left, y'all? This is this is what I get. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 bucks for me. So, I just got my nails and brows done. Two, is this make one week? This makes one weekend, y'all. Look at this. Look at what I be talking about. Like, look at this. I get so annoyed because I spent 100 I spent $110 plus a $10 tip, so $120 on a manicure, pedicure, and my eyebrows. And this is gel polish. And look at how it do after one week of wear. It's annoying. What are you guys doing to your nails that's actually lasting? Because I'm about to be a press-on girl. Keep on playing with me. I'm going to save some more extra money. Um, But what are we going to do with my little $14? So, I want to go to the gun range. And learn how to shoot so I think I'm gonna put ten dollars in solo date because I'm going to need to pay to rent a gun and buy ammo I don't know when I'm going on this self this solo date but I'm just gonna put this over there for the time being and then we have four dollars left to work with um Mm, what do we want to put that in? I'm going to put it in miscellaneous, all $4, because I don't know what else I want or what I have coming up. I definitely, did I, do I have massages in here? I want to go for a massage um, soon, so I need to start putting money in that. So let's see, do we have, I know we got massages. There we go. Let's go ahead and throw that $4 in here. The good thing is the massage place that I'm going to, they actually take HSA, FSA, you know, your flexible spending accounts for medical. So I think I am going to use what I have in my account and then anything that I don't have to cover it, I'll pull it out of this binder. But anyway, that is it for this week. That is my cash envelope stuffing. Thank you for sticking around. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.